Back into East Africa now. A new commodity trade platform has been set up and it's running in Tanzania. The Tanzanian Mercantile Exchange is seeking to add even more crops to be traded through its commodity exchange. TMX, as it's more commonly known, is the first commodity exchange in Tanzania. It was established as a, as a platform where farmers, traders, exporters and other market actors will be able to access domestic and global market uh, players and obtain a fair price in selling or buying the commodities over the long run. The crops identified for expansion include coffee, cotton, lentils, cassava and peas as well. So what exactly does this expansion entail? Let's explore that. And Nicholas Casero is the Acting Director of Operations at the Tanzania Mercantile Exchange. He's joining us now live from Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. Um, Nicholas, thank you very much for your time this evening. So coffee is one of the things that I know that you want to expand into, but Tanzania has a coffee exchange up north in Moshi as well. Weekly auctions are held there. So what's the unique value proposition that the mercantile exchanges bring to the table to farmers and other market actors? Well, thank you. The Commodity Exchange, Tanzania Mercantile Exchange, is going to add value by by increasing transparency because uh, the trading is going to be done through online whereby sellers will compete in selling their commodities wherever they are and buyers will compete to buy commodities wherever they are without needful to transport to transport to the Moshi auction or to the regional auctions in the regions in the southern regions. But also with the pandemic situation of COVID-19, people can stay wherever they are, but also trade and get the commodities at the year. Uh, are these going to be spot contracts that you're offering, the or are we going to offer a mix of spot contracts plus, of course, futures and forwards? With the Arabic, which is produced about 70% compared to 30% of Robusta, the the Arabic can be done with spot contract, but the Robusta will be done with futures, whereby farmers will bring in their estimate production and then traders will compete to buy in, 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 in payment and delivery to be done in the future. Okay, so roughly 90% of Tanzania's coffee comes from smallholder farmers, as I understand it. So how are you going to be dealing with quality control uh, among all the farmers that inevitably will be coming to market vis-a-vis -vis the roughly 10% or so of output that comes in from larger, more commercial operations? Currently, with the current budget, the government is investing in the extension services, whereby smallholder farmers will be supported with the extension officers to ensure that they produce by following best farming practices but also the warehouses receipt system, which ensures that quality crops are all received in the warehouses before being traded. This is done with the support of all stakeholders, including the Tanzania Coffee Board and also the Tanzania Mercantile Exchange to ensure that buyers, they get what they, they buy. Okay, um, so Tanzania displaced Kenya to become the third largest producer of coffee um, in the region, I believe. Um, what do you see, the, the, what's, what's, what's the outlook for yields for coffee, at least this year and the next? The, the production went to, uh, is increased to about 70,000 metric tons. But also with the input and government support which has been placed is that it's about to increase to reach more of 90%, 90,000 metric tons. Because the current average production is 50,000 metric tons per annum. Okay, so pretty decent numbers there. So cotton is also one of the other crops that you're keen on, on adding to the list of traded commodities at TMX. But cotton yields in the country are only now getting back to where they were in 2005, 2006. Can you give us a sense of the scale of demand for, for Tanzania's cotton compared to producers in West Africa and North Africa? Currently, with the Tanzania Cotton Board Statistics, Tanzania is producing about 0.6% of the world cotton, but 12% of the African. 
cotton. With the model that we are introducing that is going to increase the demand of, is going to increase the income to farmers by 41%, and we are anticipating that this will increase, or will increase also the quality based on the government efforts, and also will enable to increase the market share in the world, but also in Africa. So the model allows farmers to sell cotton lint, but also to sell seeds, which will increase their income by 41%. Okay, that so, is the model we anticipate with the commodity exchange. So when, when, when do we expect these contracts on, on cotton, on coffee, on cassava, on peas? When do these contracts come online? Currently, Tanzania Mercantile Exchange is working with the specific crop boards and the stakeholders involved in the value chain to make sure that this comes into, this comes into action. But this is done by studying the environment so that we do not disturb the, the, the current trade. So that when it, it starts to launch, it will launch in full. But we start with pilot, pilot, pilot phases until when it comes to launch throughout in the, in, the, in, in the whole country. Okay, so pilot phases for now. Um, one last question for you very quickly. In order to essentially get these additional crops online, do you need to raise more capital to expand the warehouse network you have at the moment, or is your storage capacity as things currently stand? Is that sufficient? Currently, we are trading with what we have, the existing warehouses in the, in the country. But these warehouses need more improvement, but also they need more capacity in terms of size to enable the commodities that can be collected so that they can stay from time to time. But now what we do is that once commodities are stored, they are traded, they are taken out from the warehouses and then other commodities comes in and trade, and then we trade. But if the regions or the, the, the zones can have strategic warehouses, then they will help to include, to, to, to collect more commodities in the warehouses before they trade. Now we trade as we receive in the warehouses to allow to, to get space that will be used for another commodities to come in in the warehouses. All right, we'll leave it there for the time being. Nikolaus Casero, Acting Director of Operations at the Tanzania Mercantile Exchange, joining us there live uh, from Dar es Salaam.